Do you know how to solve quadratic equation using completing square method? Come, let me teach you. Here, we have to solve the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. To solve this quadratic equation, we have to make the coefficient of x squared to be unity. That is to be 1. So we have to divide through by the coefficient of what? x squared. So if we divide through by 3, we have to divide through by 3, and divide through by 3, and divide through by 3. So when you divide through by 3, 3 will now cancel out this. You have x squared minus 2x over 3 minus 4 over 3 equal to 0. Then the next step is to move the last term, which is c, to the other side of the equation. To do that, to do that, we add 4 over 3 to both sides. So we have x squared minus 2x over 3 is equal to 4 over 3. Then since we've done that, we have to make this side a perfect square. And to make the left-hand side of the quadratic to be a perfect square, we have to add half of the coefficient of this x, all squared. So what is the coefficient of x here? We have it as minus 2 over 3. And to get the half, we have to multiply the fraction by 1 over 2. And then we have to what? Square. Then minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 over 3 times 2 is, okay, is 6. 2 now divide, you have it to be minus 1 over 3, all squared. Okay? So we are going to add minus 1 over 3, all squared, to the both sides of the quadratic. We have x squared minus 2x over 3 plus minus 1 over 3 all squared is equal to is equal to 4 over 3 plus minus 1 over 3 all squared. Okay? Then the next thing, this place have now been a perfect quadratic equation. You can now see we have it as x, x from here minus 1 over 3 all squared is equal to 4 over 3, 1 squared, minus 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9. So here, you can now see that we add this side. To add it, you have x minus 1 over 3, all squared, is equal to, LCM is 9, 3 divided 9 is 3, times 4 is 12, plus 9 divided is 1, times 1 is 1. So you have it to be, uh, x minus 1 over 3 all squared is equal to 13 over 9. The next step we take is to take the square root of both sides. If you take the square root of both sides, it gives a positive and negative solution of x. Then the square root will remove the square. x minus 1 over 3 should be equal to plus or minus square root of 13 is root 13 divided by square root of 9 is 3. So we have to minus 1 over 3, to add 1 over 3 to both sides. x is equal to plus or minus square root of 13 over 3 plus 1 over 3. x is equal to, uh, they have a common denominator, you have it as 1 plus root 13 over 3, or you to call it 1 minus root 13 over 3. So this is the two possible solutions of x. Please like, comment, and share for more. Bye-bye.